Hello people, welcome back to my tutorial on generating sound with SFML. So last time we learned how to create a window with SFML and this time we're actually going to generate some sound. So what we're going to do is start out by creating a file called sound.h and uh, what, this, what this file will do is it will contain our functions for generating uh, our sound samples. And what we'll do, let's see, let's include uh, math. And let's create a namespace called sound. Now you may want to create a class for your program. Uh, for the simplicity of this example, I'm just going to create a namespace. And let's define uh, to pi because what we're going to do is uh, the first sound we're going to generate is a sine wave so we're going to uh, create it as 6.28318530307 and that's good enough and the way our we're going to create a function called sine wave and it'll take a double of the time, double of the frequency, and a double of the amplitude. And it will return a single 16-bit sine integer. And so what we do to create a sine wave is just call the sine wave function with the time and the frequency and the amplitude, and it will give us the uh, a single sample of the sine wave. So if we want to create a, a one second sine wave, which we'll do, uh, we'll call this function 44,100 times to get all the samples of the sine wave throughout a second. So let's create a short with the result. And create ticks per cycle, which will be 44,000 uh, 100 cycles per second divided by the frequency and that will give us the ticks per cycle. And we also will need to know the number of cycles that has happened so we'll take the time and divide it by the ticks per cycle and that will give us how many cycles there have been. We'll also need radians uh, which will be 2 pi multiplied by the number of cycles. And we will also need to create the actual amplitude, which will need to be a short or a 16 bit sine integer. And that will be um, 32,767, the highest um, positive uh, number for a sine integer, times the amplitude. And the amplitude that we're going to pass in will be a double between 0 and 1 so that way it makes it very easy to set the volume if we set it at 0.5 it'll be at half volume that way we don't have to do any of this math um, with 16 bit integers we, it'll all just be done inside this function and then we're going to set the result to the amplitude uh, times the sine of our angle, or the radians. And then we'll return the result. Uh, the reason why we have this result uh, and we don't just return amplitude times the sine is by having an explicit 16-bit uh, integer result we implicitly convert our double um, into a 16-bit integer because that's what we need. So that's that's our sine wave function. So let's exit out of that. Let's go into our main program and let's start to build our sine wave. So what we'll do for that is we need a sound buffer. So we'll create a sound uh, SFML sound buffer and we'll just call it buffer. And 
and we'll also need a vector and this vector will be uh, will hold all of our samples and so we'll call this samples and so once we've got our vector we can uh, we can fill it up so we'll um, we need to generate our samples and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate 44,100 samples that will be one seconds worth of sound and the way that we'll do that is we'll do samples dot push back and we'll do sound sine wave and we'll give it time the frequency we'll give it we'll make it 440 Hertz which is concert a and we'll do it at 90% of full volume oops Now once we've filled up our uh, sample buffer, we can load load our buffer. So buffer dot uh, load from samples and we'll give it the address of our samples and we'll give it the sample size and we are only going to have one channel and it's going to be at 44,000. 100 Hertz all right now we've loaded our buffer now we can create a sound so we'll do SF sound and we'll just call that sound and then we will set the buffer of our sound uh, with buffer and now we can finally play our sound and that should be it so let's close this up. Actually, let's just leave it open and go over to our other terminal here. And we'll make, uh, let's see, sound has not been declared. Oh, yes, uh, we need to remember at the top to include sound.h. So we go back over here, we'll try make. Looks like it made, so we've got a nice then let's see if we can hear our one second of 440 hertz. Ah, there we go. Uh, let's play it one more time in case you missed it. And that is our 100 or our 40, 440 hertz sine wave uh, that we generated from just numbers. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Next time, what we'll do is learn how to generate other uh, different waveforms. We'll learn how to generate noise and square waves and what you need to do to figure out how to build your own waves. Thanks for watching, until next time.